Welcome back to the Thai Airways International Jet Ski World Cup 2018. It's always good to get the first one out of the way with a win and you know compare yourself where you're at, where you're standing on this competition. It's a four moto event so you have to really play it smart and play it consistent. So not too much risk but it's good to get the first win and have a little back. Well normally the first motos are usually flat but already now we've got a lot of wind coming in and the race conditions are really tough. So expecting more wind in the afternoons there will be a lot of overtaking, crashing, mistakes and a lot of action. This condition this morning is very, very hard. With my uh, little ski and uh, two stroke, uh, it's very hard for me. I make a very good start. My engine works so much, but it's too hard for me to make a battle with the big Kawasaki. But I'm happy top four now and uh, three hit again. So we will see. Yeah, I'm ready for it. But uh, in France, uh, the hot is not too much. Same like here. And uh, it's that for it's difficult for me here because the hot is uh, very, very hard. But uh, I think it will be uh, more and more better in the weekend. I finished four, big condition, so I'm happy. And we're getting ready on the starting gate for motor number two of the Pro Ski Grand Prix. Crowd anxiously watching on. Here they are on the starting gate. Moto number two, and they're off. There you see number 90, Kevin Reiterer on the left-hand side. Looks like he's dropping back just a little bit as they go off on the opening lap. Perret there on the left-hand side, and Perret, Michael Perret on the inside. Option on this opening, there you see Jeremy Perret now in the lead, number 72 after the opening lap going into the right-hand side of the course, followed in second place with Michael Perret and Vandenbos in third place as they come around on the top end of the course. Michael Perret there in second place, number 77, is Coming around with Vandenbos opting for the inside option on this course. There you see number 98, Quinton Vandenbos, third place at the moment. Coming around, Perret there on the outside, number two, Vandenbos in third place. Let's come around the grandstand. Vandenbos overtaking Michael Perret. That's what Quentin Vandenbos into second place and Perret into third. A rider coming up there as well in fourth place, coming back up, and he's going to pass by number 77, Michael Perret. Reiterer overtaking Perret, now moving into third place. There you have Kevin Reiter in third place now as they come around on the left hand side of the course. Jeremy Perret, of course, way in the lead. Vandebos in second place. Reiterer now in third place. Perret. Michael in fourth place and Moren in fifth place. Those are the standings at the moment. There you see Moren overtaking or trying to overtake Michael Perret as they come around. Michael Perret now falling back into fifth place and Raphael Moren in fourth place. Jeremy Perret still in the lead, number 72 there. You see him raising his hand. Looks like though he has a problem with his jet ski. There he's being passed by Vandenbos. Jeremy Perret now suddenly in second place. And look at that. There comes Reiter overtaking Jeremy Perret as well. Vandenbos now in first place and Reiter into second place. Vandenbos now in first place. There you see craft number 98. And Jeremy Perret dropping back and coming out of the race, having to have a look at his engine. So he's out of this particular moto. That's what Quentin Vandenbos into the lead. Rider number 98 taking the checkered flag. Quentin Vandenbos taking moto number two on this Pro Ski Grand Prix. Kevin Ryder coming in in second place. Let's have a look at the results after moto number two. Kevin Ryder there in the lead with 113 points, followed very closely behind by Quentin Vandenbos with 108 points, only five points behind the leader. Raphael Moren in third place, 12 points behind with a total of 101 points. Valentin Dardelat in fourth place with 75 points and rounding up the top five, there's Michael Perret with 73 points. And there you see Jeremy Perret only garnering 12 points on moto number two. Let's see what happens as we go into the next moto, moto number three. crowd really getting ready for this race 
as this is going to be one of the big events. We could have a real upset this year. There you go, the Pro Ski Grand Prix Motor Number no. 3 getting ready on the starting gate. Van den Bosch there and Ryder next to each other. Moren Waverer on the right hand side there. And they are ready to start off on Moto Number no. 3. Craft 98 and Craft 90 next to each other. And they are off on Moto Number no. 3 on this opening lap. Let's see what happens. The crowd cheering on. We've got Pere on the left hand side and Hattori from Japan coming around on the inside option on this opening lap. And it looks as though Hattori is in the lead with Jeremy Pere in second place. Let's see how this one plays out because this is going to have some serious consequences for the total points. Kazuo Hattori, number 95 there in the lead as they come around, Jeremy Bure in second place, Kevin Ryder in third place, followed by Raphael Moren in fourth, and Michael Bure in fifth place. Sixth place, Quentin Vandenboss, Hattori still in the lead there. Jeremy Bure trying to overtake. Is that going to happen anytime soon, or is it going to happen at all? In the, oh, Kazuo coming off his craft there as he comes around that boy. That's put him way back now with all the other riders passing him by. Jeremy Pere moving into the lead because of that mistake. Jeremy Pere, number 72 there, as you see him coming around the left-hand side of the course. And we are going to be looking at who's in second and third place. Jeremy Pere coming around in first place there. Second place, it looks as though that is Kevin Reiter at the moment. We'll have to confirm that Pere there and Reiter as they come around the top end side of the course. Reiter putting on a burst of speed. He's looking at Pere in front of him and saying, no, no, you're not going to end up in first place. Jeremy, of course, looking around behind him and saying, uh-uh, I'm staying right where I am. I'm going to be in first place and Reiter there in second place. They're looking at each other and they're going to see who's going to come in on first place at that checkered flag. Let's see what happens as they come around. Both opting for the outside option here. Raphael Moran in third place, number 44. You see him there. He was doing not too bad in the previous race. Moran suddenly dropping that bombshell, coming in second after that lap there, taking the inside option. That's put Kevin Reiter into third place. Jeremy Bure in first place still. Moran in second place, going back to the inside option, and Reiter sticking to the outside. Moran is in second place. Is this going to be a good gamble for him or not? We don't know. We'll have to see if he can maintain and gain on his lead. Jeremy Bure there still in first place, coming around the outside option, and Moran on the inside option. Bure takes the first place. Checkered flag on moto number three. Reiterer in third place and Moran in second place. Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, I wasn't 100% yet, but you know, I just enjoyed riding, enjoyed racing, and the passion for the sport is a really high and just amazing feeling. That moto was good, a uh, little bit less wave, and uh, now you know that you keep uh, focus on the last moto and overall. So this moto was the hardest because uh, you have to push and uh, save at the same time because you have to play the, the points. So now I think we are already close, pretty close. The guy who will finish front will uh, win the King's Cup, so the game is on. And so after motor number three, there you see Kevin Reiter in the lead with 161 points, followed by Raphael Moren, who's only seven points behind with 154 points. In third place, Quentin Vandenboss with 141 points after motor number three. Michael Pere in fourth place, 116 points, 45 behind, and Jeremy Pere, 115 points, dropping all the way down to fifth place. Besides Dustin Matsuras from South Africa, we also had Demi Lee Nell Peters, Miss Universe 2017 from South Africa, joining us for this event. Miss Universe 2017. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming out, for bracing the heat and supporting all the contenders. I know that um, there's contenders from 37 countries, um, which is incredible. And what a great opportunity to be part of such a world-class event. I hope you guys are having the best time. Thank Here you. is our Miss Universe.